Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we are going to look at LXC profiles. So what are LXC profiles and how to apply profiles to your LXC containers and so on. Um, a while ago uh, we did this video getting started with LXC containers where I showed how to install LXC, LXD and uh, using SnapD for Ubuntu or using your package manager and then how to initialize your LXD environment, starting the containers and so on. So that's getting started with LXD, LXC containers. So this time we will look at LXC profiles in detail. And we've also looked at uh, how to deploy your Kubernetes cluster using LXC containers as the worker node. So those are the two videos I did around uh, LXC. All right, so let's close that. We don't need that. All right, so I've got LXC installed. I'm um, on Ubuntu 18.04 and I've got 16 CPU on this machine and I've got 32 gig of uh, system memory. All right, so that's my host machine and I've also got LXC installed, sudo snap list. So I have, uh, yep, it's here, LXD installed. And if I show you the version, LXC version, so I'm running version 3.18. Um, so depending on what version of LXC and LXT you're using, there might be some issues um, when I'm showing some commands like how to limit your CPU, how to limit the, the memory in your LXC containers. So I've tested that on 3.18, which is working fine. And if you find it's not working, maybe it's a different version and I will be able to test it if you if you let me know what version of uh, LXC you're using. All right, so LXC list. I haven't got any containers and if I look at profiles, LXC profile list. So I have one profile called default and it's used by zero containers. So none of the containers are using default profile. So if you, so whenever you deploy an LXC container, uh, it's going to inherit this default profile. Let's do that. LXC launch Ubuntu 18.04. I'm going to name the container Ubuntu. So I'm creating a container, I'm launching a container, and that container will be using this default profile. If I do LXC info, the container name, and grep for profiles, so as you can see, this container is actually using the default profile. And if I do LXC profile list default, which is used by one container, LXC profile show default. To look at more information about that particular profile, you can see basically we have two devices. So that's the network device and this is the storage device name, uh, description, and set of configuration. So the default profile comes with no configuration. If you want, you can add additional configurations, which we will see in a minute. And it's used by this Ubuntu container. All right, cool. So we are running an LXC container, Ubuntu container, and it's using this default profile. You can't delete or rename this default profile. For example, if I say LXC profile delete default, the default profile cannot be deleted and you, can, you also can't rename this default profile. Alexi profile rename default to something. It can't be renamed so that's the default profile that gets uh, created when you initialize your LXD environment. All right so what else we can do? Um, get and set. So there is, uh, if you want to get a particular configuration from an LXD profile, you can do that using LXD profile, get, and the profile name default, and the value that you want to get. For example, limits.cpu. Because we haven't got any configuration set in the default profile, it's uh, returning an empty output. Okay, so now let's create a new profile. LXC profile create custom so name of the profile you can do that LXC profile list so now we have two profiles a custom profile which is not used by any of the containers and a default profile or let's remove that file let's remove that profile LXC profile delete custom LXC profile list the other way is to copy an existing profile LXC profile let's copy the default profile and create a new profile called custom. 
LXC profile list. Okay, so now we have this custom profile. Let's edit the profile LXC profile edit. <coughs> Okay, so before that, I'm going to show you, uh, before adding, uh, before setting some of the configurations, I'm going to show you, let's log into our container, Ubuntu, LXE, exec, Ubuntu, bash. Okay, so we are inside that Ubuntu container. No configurations, nothing. It's uh, using the default profile. So my host machine has got 16 CPU and 32 gig of memory. And if I do, in proc, so the container also gets the same CPU that the host machine has, and free minus G, it has the same amount of memory that the host machine has. So if you want to limit the amount of memory or the amount of CPU that your container uses, then you can set that in the profile. So either you can set it in the default profile or you can create a custom profile. All right, so let's edit the uh, custom profile, LXC profile list. So let's edit the custom profile. There are two ways to edit the profile. One is LXC profile edit, <coughs> name of the profile, custom. And let's update this profile description because we copied it from the default profile. It copied all the configurations. Let's delete that and add, let's say my custom profile. Let's leave everything as default. Name is custom, that's okay. So configurations, let's add some configuration limits.cpu so i'm going to say i want to limit the number of cpus in this container to be one even though my host machine has 16 containers i need this container to have access to just one cpu all right so that's one way of uh setting all right so lxc profile lxc profile now you can use the get and set command lxc profile get custom limits.cpu so we have one cpu so that's the uh, key that we want to query that we want to get from this uh, configuration all right the other way of setting uh, a configuration item for your profile is to use the set command lxc profile set custom limits.cpu to two let's change that to two and if i use get command it says now we are setting limits.cpu to two LXC profile show custom. <coughs> yep, now we have limits.cpu is two. LXC info Ubuntu grep profiles. So if you want to add a profile, there are two ways. So either you can, when you're launching the container, you can specify which profile you want to apply to the container, or you can add multiple profiles to your container. You can even add a profile to a container that's running and the FX will be dynamic. It can it applies the effect on the fly. Let's say our LXC container is running, the Ubuntu container is running. Let's apply the custom profile to it. The command is LXC profile add the container name and the profile name custom. Okay, so we have applied the custom profile. So now if I do that grep now you see the Ubuntu container is having both the default and the custom profile. All right, so LXC exec Ubuntu, and if I do nproc, cool, so my container now has just two CPU, even though my system has like 16 CPU. So that's how you add. Let's add one more <coughs> uh, configuration. LXC profile um, set custom limits dot memory to uh, within uh, codes 2 GB I think LXC profiles show custom cool so limits dot CPU is 2 limits dot memory is 2 GB LXC exec Ubuntu free minus G LXC exec Ubuntu, let's get a bash and then do free minus G. Yep, now you can see that it's set to two gig. And if I show in MB, yep, so it has two gig and it has applied it on the fly without having to restart the container. All right, so now if you want to remove it, LXC profile, remove the container name and the profile name. So we have removed the custom profile, 
LXC info Ubuntu grip for profile so now it's back to having just the default profile and if I do LXC Ubuntu get prog so back to two progs no that shouldn't be the case LXC profile list customers not being used LXC profile show default default is not using okay LXC exec Ubuntu bash free minus G yep so memory is back to 32 gig but I'm not sure why it's showing uh, the processor as to it should be using the 16 CPU all right so <coughs> that's done so what if we have two containers uh, sorry two profiles with two different settings for the same options and if you apply both the profiles which will take precedence let's test that LXE profile list so we have custom profile LXE profile show custom limits.cpu limits.memory let's delete uh, limits.memory for now LXE profile edit custom and delete limits.cpu save that and I'm going to copy this profile LXE profile copy custom to custom one LXC profile and let's change the limits.cpu to say four gig on the custom one profile LXC profile set custom one limits.cpu to be four LXC profile show custom so the custom profile is using two CPU and the custom one profile is using four CPU. Let's apply these two profiles to our Ubuntu container and see what it takes. Let's delete the Ubuntu container and recreate it. Delete. All right, so the other way to start the container is if you don't specify any profile, it will get the default profile, but you can also specify the profile that you want applied uh, when the container is launched. LXC launch Ubuntu minus minus profile custom so now this uh, container should have two CPU right let's check that LXE list yep LXE exec Ubuntu and proc so yep that's cool LXE info grip for profile and it's having just one profile custom because uh, we specified which profile to use while we launched the container. Cool. Let's apply the second profile. LXC profile add Ubuntu custom one. LXC info grep for profile. So now we have both custom and custom one profile. So these two profiles have limits.cpu set, the same option, but one profile has two CPU and the other profile has four CPU. LXC exec Ubuntu and proc so now we see uh, it has four CPU so whatever profile is applied uh, at the last will get precedence okay so that's cool LXC profile remove Ubuntu custom one LXC exec I would expect the number of processor to be number of CPUs to be two yep that's back to two that's how it should work that's fine and then what else we can do the container configuration LXC profile show custom so what sort of configurations you can give within this uh, config item so if you open the browser and search for LXC container configurations if I type it correctly LXC container configuration uh, you go so you have a list of options that you can specify for example boot dot auto start for example um, if you set that configuration option and whenever you reboot your system or restart your service uh, those containers uh, that has boot dot auto start set to true it will be started automatically so we saw limits dot CPU limits dot memory and so on. So these are different options that you can specify in the profile configuration. All right, let's check the boot dot auto start. LXA profile list. Um, so now uh, the Ubuntu container is using the custom profile. Let's edit that profile. LXA profile set 
custom boot dot auto start equals true is true LXC profile show custom and we have two configuration items limits.cpu is true boot.auto start is true okay let's stop the ubuntu container lxc stop ubuntu lxc list so the ubuntu container is definitely stopped and now if you reboot your system uh, or restart your lxc service the quick way to test is to restart lxd service sudo snap restart lxd so I'm just restarting the LXD and even if you reboot your system, this container should start automatically. LXC list, yep, Ubuntu container is running. So that's all about LXC profiles. You can play with profile, you can play with multiple, you can add devices, you can uh, remove devices. LXC profiles show custom. So if you want additional network interfaces, you can add and so on. All right, cool. I hope you found this video useful. Please share and subscribe. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.